Older people are rigid and don't want anything to change. Older people die. Older people get sick. Older people just want to talk about the good old days. There's no way they understand. And I think people have a misconception about older people that because they have some frailties, that means there's something less about them. But there's actually more that's grown inside. This older person becomes a fascinating individual in there, uh, if somebody's got time. But I think anybody should be involved with them because they're just incredible individuals. I have an old lady um, in the congregation. Um, she was fairly old. She, she was um, incapacitated physically, uh, although she could get around, but she struggled to um, walk. Young people came into her home and they would just talk to her. And she would offer them, I don't know, her advice, um, understanding, uh, all sorts. I was surprised how many young people came to see this lady. They were teenagers, and I think she was in her 80s, late 70s, early 80s. They'd drop in after school. To me, I think she was kind of a safety net. Um, she was somebody that they could talk about stuff and they could, you know, wasn't mum and dad, so they felt safe. Um, and so this lady had a, a fascinating role that I observed just from outside, even though I used to go and visit her too. What it means is that ageing is not about what I'm going to give to them. It's not ministry to the ageing. It's ministry with the ageing. In other words, I'm travelling alongside of them. Um, all of life is really, it's not about what I give to somebody else. I'm going to receive just as much in what they do with me, for me. And we had a group of about 30 people who were involved in pastoral care. Some were younger, some were older. Some was, one lady I think was about 80. And so one of the exercises was, I got the older people to pick a younger person and to talk about what's it like to be their age and what's it like to be their age. And to listen to each other and what you have in common and what's different. And, and again, um, for the different generations to go through that, to learn both about what an older person might um, have experienced and what they've learned and what it means for their faith, but also for the younger person to experience the energy of this older person. They've still got a lot of energy and they still can be, um, uh, I don't know, they care, they're excited, they're, um, and that can be very satisfying for a younger person to have this engagement that they wouldn't normally have and suddenly they've had this time, they think, gee, that was good. The older person thought that they had nothing to give and suddenly they realised or learnt, I can actually give something here. I think the younger person learnt how exciting and interesting these older people are that they normally wouldn't engage. <clears throat> life is about relationships. Most things in life are free, you know, <laughs> that's a common thing, but Love is free, humour is free, listening is free. Um, yeah, it takes energy, but it's free. You know, it's, a, it's not about having commodity or whatever. You don't have to buy it. When we understand really what is important, it's, it's not about what we accumulate. Whereas life is about human beings. <coughs> My perfect um, community is about that people value, have time for, and experience relationships.